Hey guys, it's Scott here from the Fragrance Channel Scott Aromatical. Welcome. I'm so glad you guys could join me. I'm so glad you guys are here today because today I'm super excited because I'm going to be talking about one of my really good friends, Stephen over at Red Adolescence. He has a brand new fragrance out. As you guys may know, it's a 2021 release in concert and with his good friend, God rest his soul, uh, Carlos from Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. They got together, they teamed up, and they made a beautiful fragrance called Red Brook Parfums Underground. And today I'll be talking about that, so stay tuned. Hey guys, like I said, it's Scott here from the Fragrance Channel, Scott Aromatico. Again, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. If you're just finding me for the first time, a big hearty welcome to you. And to all the OGs, I'm so glad you're here. You've been so supportive. Listen, before I dive into the review on Red Book Underground, I just wanted to say, if you are a fan of anything having to do with fragrance-related content, you're in the right spot. This is the place for you, because we have all kinds of fun here. My family gets involved. We do top 10 countdowns. I even do some really awesome, inspiring interviews with some of the top content creators and even some of the smaller content creators that I know you guys want and want to get to know. So we do that here. We do giveaways, we do unboxings, you name it. We just like to have a good old time talking and celebrating fragrances. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's just right down there. It's that little red button. Just go ahead and hit it. And then so that these videos make it into your feed, go ahead and hit that bell icon. Just press it, ding, ding, ding. And all of a sudden these videos will be coming into your feed and we wanna have you and we want you to have those videos right away so you know what's going on. And it really means a lot to me and shows me that you really care about the channel. Please, if you get any value whatsoever today, hit that like button. And it's okay if you wanna share this video with some of your friends and family, I won't mind at all. So thank you so much. We wanna have you a part of my fragrance family and we want you to come on this journey with me. All right, without any further ado, you are here for the new creation by Red Brook Parfums Underground. And this is it right here. This is the cool box that came in. This is the presentation. This is the star of the show. This is why you guys tuned in. And this was, like I said, an awesome collabo with Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Again, may he rest in peace. And Stephen Red Lessons, two amazing friends. If you saw them together, it was just like they were one person. You can, you never wanted to see one without the other because they just fit so naturally. They were the dynamic duo. They had an amazing friendship and they were just an amazing team. And I loved watching them do collabo videos all the time. I, I lived for it. So when I heard this was coming down the pike, I had to get it. I wanted it bad, not only for Brooklyn Fragrance Lover and for his legacy, because he was definitely a pillar of the community, but also for Steven too, and what it meant to Steve to see these this dream come true. So let me give you a little bit of background about what I know about this uh, fragrance company, what this fragrance company symbolizes, because there's so much that goes into this. In this line right here with the stripes, which is called a zebra board, all the way from the name with the R and the B, and the Red Brook, there's so much going on here. So let me try to unpack as much of it as I can in a quick amount of time. If I forget something, I apologize to Steven and I apologize to you guys, but I just recently did a YouTube video um, with Steven where I did an interview and it's a two-parter. So on the second part is where we talked about Red Brook Parfums and it's very knowledgeable. If you're going to do a review, you might wanna study that or if you just wanna learn you know, a little bit more about what he was saying about this product, it's definitely a good watch and I'll put a link down below so you can find it. So what I know about this line right here, which is the zebra board, it's just a really, really cool story. And that is, is that if you ever jump on a train in New York City and go on the subway, which is a cool experience in and of itself. And by the way, I have had such an amazing experience every time I've gone to New York. It has been so much fun. The food is good. The culture is good. It's a melting pot of so many different people. They're all blending together. There's art, there's culture. Like I said, there's music. Just so many awesome things about New York City. And it's just got a heartbeat of its own. It's alive. It's a city that never sleeps. And then so much has to happen for New York City to thrive and to survive. And I'm telling you what, the subway system or the train system that's underground and above ground really helps that city go. And so it, you know, it's the vein and the lifeblood of that city, which I think is a cool thing. Another cool reason why this is named underground, one of many, because the underground is where all the veins are, where the lifeblood is being taken to and from, and people are getting their supplies and getting to work and being transported all over the place. So I think that's another cool reason, but 
This right here, if you've ever been on the train, this is where people, well, this is what the conductor uses. It's almost like a measuring tool. He uses it to line up the train where to stop so he knows where to open up the doors. It's a symbol of awareness, okay? So when, when that conductor sees this, he's supposed to, and I'll put a little bit of, I'll put a video at the beginning of this so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but he'll stick his finger out the window like this and he'll point to that line and it's just to, it's just to symbolize awareness and alertness which is another cool thing about this fragrance is that it's so vibrant and energetic it help, you can't help but be alert when you wear this and and so also what this symbolizes is and it's up top and it's about a half halfway and so what that symbolizes meeting somebody halfway that's what it symbolized to Carlos and what it symbolized to Stephen because these are two different characters these are two different personalities there are two different people. Carlos is a little bit eccentric. He's a little bit outgoing. Steven is more polished, if you will. Um, he's more reserved and he's not so much a people person like you would think he would be, even though he's a teacher. So here you have the, the melding of these two personalities. And so that zebra board symbolizes them meeting halfway. Okay. Also, what I wanted to talk about, I just think these are cool points that you all want to know. Um, the R and the B. You know, Stephen had to go and take different modes of transportation from New Jersey to New York. So he had to jump on the R train to the B train to get there. So I think that's pretty cool. Or I'm not sure if it's the other way around. Maybe it's the B train to the R train. Either way, those are two different trains that you have to jump onto, that you get off one, board the other. And I thought that was a cool bit of symbolism. Also, Redbrook, when you think of that name, you immediately just think of a place, some place you want to be, some gorgeous, lovely resort some city some town and that's exactly what they were going for they are using their imagination um, of a place where your olfactory senses can be enlightened and come to life in a town or a place called redbrook and also red is from the word red adolescence and brook is from brooklyn fragrance lover and that's how we get the name now there's this business of the word underground <coughs> as you know the subway system is underground and we've talked about that but also, also what Stephen and Carlos wanted to do is come up with a fragrance that was not like, that's not mainstream. I guess that's the best way to say it. It's not mainstream, not like everyone else's. So that's where they came up with the term underground. And they just wanted a fragrance that was different. Not like something you would smell. You know, there's a lot of people who put out fragrances, especially influencers, and they tend to smell like some, someone else's fragrance. Their main goal was to make sure that this fragrance stood apart and was not like everyone else's. So... Okay, with that being said, I think I've given you a little bit of background. And like I said, if I've left out some things, please guys, go ahead and look down in the description below and you can watch my video on it. And that'll give you a little more um, idea of what this fragrance means to um, Steven and Carlos. So, all right, I've already showed you the box. So as soon as you open up the box, this is what waits you. And it's really cool. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but those are basically the veins of the subway system with Redbrook Parfums. And I just think that's really cool. Okay, and then on the back, you've got this right here. Each one was signed by Steven, and this tells the number of, they only made a thousand, but guys, you may be wondering yourself, why is he reviewing a fragrance I'm not gonna be able to get because it's a limited edition? I do know there's some talk. I don't know for sure. I'm not a hundred, but I do know there's some talk that maybe this is something they'll look into bringing back out again because it was so popular. So many people liked it. It's a big hit. So with anything that's a big hit, if anything that, that the people are clamoring for, you know, there's always going to be talk in the future about maybe something else coming out. And also maybe some other fragrances along the Red Brook line as well may be coming. I don't know anything for sure. Um, I've just, you know, that's speculation on my part, so don't take it to the bank. But anyway, so let me read you what's on this card. I'm not going to read all of it. I'm just going to read a couple of pieces and skip, and then I'll actually show you what the fragrance looks like. So... In the very beginning it says, and I touched on this, the veins of New York City run underground and transport the lifeblood of the metropolis. This energy is the inspiration behind the collaboration among creative directors, Stephen Gavrilatis, or Red Alessons, and Carlos J. Powell of Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. And also brought to you by the fragrance experts at the Society of Scent, okay? And then down at the bottom, uh, this is, I thought this was worth reading. It says, this limited edition of a thousand bottles is a tribute to my friend Carlos, who passed away right after we had finished this labor of love and just before we were able to share it with the world. 
This is his legacy to the fragrance community. It is my honor to present it to you. And it is also my honor to present this to you and to review it. So, okay, this is what is nestled down in the box and was awaiting for me. Just a lot like the cover of the box. And this is a nice little foam. It's encased in there and pulls right out. And that's what's left. And here's the bottle. Plain on the black, just uh, matte black, gold cap. Cap clips into place. Okay, let's kind of show you guys what the atomizer looks like. That's right on my wrist. Good coverage, great atomizer. That's important to me. I feel like when comp guys, I don't even have to sn uh, sniff my wrist. It, it just fills the room immediately. But like I was saying, I feel like when when companies take time with the little things, to me that tells me the rest of the fragrance is probably going to be good too. All right, guys, like I said, this is a new offering that came out in 2021. Jean-Claude Deville is the perfumer. And this was marketed and packaged by McSwain Studios. And so those are the ones behind the marketing and the packaging. Guys, this is an amazing fragrance, okay? So it's unlike anything I've ever smelled. I love citrus fragrances, and this is definitely has citrus in the top. There's a tangerine note mix and and it's dialed way up to me to my nose i can definitely smell the pink pepper dialed up and i can definitely smell the ginger and those things are really from the sweetness of the tangerine because tangerine is sweet and juicy and very vibrant it's just it's just bright and energetic and and means vitality which is what you get from the subway system it, it's 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 energetic it's vibrant and it's bringing vitality to the masses if you know what i mean so so to speak Okay, so it's just so bright, but it's being balanced out by the ginger. It's being balanced out by the pink pepper, so it's not too overly sweet. And so then what I know, know that's also in the notes is there's a seaweed note. I, I pick up on that a little bit. I pick up on the Haitian vetiver, that, that greenness from the Haitian vetiver. Um, I can smell that pretty strongly. The star to me, though, is, this, is the top with the citrus, okay, um, you know, the, the tangerine and also the ginger are the two stars. And then on the dry down for me, I barely smell the notes that are in the dry down. Cause in the dry down there's, I, I believe there's uh, white chocolate and what else is there? What else is there? Uh, oh, vanilla. So those two, those two things tend to be sweet and almost, almost gourmandish, but I don't smell that. But what the other star of this to me is the patchouli. It's very, very earthy and very thick with some depth. And the first thing I think about is being in a subway underground where it's damp, a little bit cold, depending on what time of year it is. It's always cold in New York, but depending on what time of year it is in the summertime, you just get that earthy vibe from the patchouli. And that's what I'm getting from this fragrance. It's just very, very mysterious, very dark with some depth, but it has that bright, energetic, vibrant opening. And guys, I really love it. And it lasts on me forever. This is like anywhere from six hours all the way up to 10 hours on me, somewhere give or take. It just depends how hydrated I am and all that stuff. But this is a long lasting fragrance. Projects, like I said, I didn't even have to smell my wrist. It was walking through the air. The sillage is ridiculous. The scent trail is amazing, guys. I absolutely love this fragrance. And please, 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 if they do come out with some more fragrances from Red Book Parfums, and this is one of them, please go ahead and buy this fragrance. You'll be glad you did. It doesn't smell like anything you've ever gotten your nose on, at least me. And, you know, truth be told, I've only been doing this for um, a year or so and YouTube reviews for, you know, seven, eight months. So, but for me, I've never smelled anything like this. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, blast to my olfactory senses. I absolutely love this fragrance. Well done, Steven. And I know Brooklyn is looking down on you and he's extremely proud and I know his family's proud and this is just an amazing fragrance for so many reasons. Not only is it good, but for sentimental reasons and also because of how much I care about Steven. So this is amazing guys through and through. Um, I love the symbolism. I love when a company tells a story and takes the time to tell a story. I love when they take time on the craftsmanship. Um, the marketing is good. Um, every, so much about it is just honest and I like that and so much about it is vulnerable and that's another thing I like so you know I know from talking to Steven I know Brooklyn was extremely nervous for this to come out I know he was freaking out but he would have absolutely had nothing to freak about freak out about because he would have been proud of this 
And I know other people have told them that, but it's still not enough. You still worry about what other people think. So all in all, guys, this is an amazing fragrance. It's definitely worth getting if they ever release another batch or if they release new offerings. This is definitely worth having. I recommend it. Two thumbs up. Way to go, Steven. Way to go, uh, the team at uh, McSwain Studios. And of course, uh, Jean-Claude DeVille. Way to go to you as well. My hat's off to everybody. So guys, thank you so much for staying with me this long. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. Show Steven your support. Show Red Brooks your support by following them on Instagram. Uh, show uh, Steven some um, support by following him over on YouTube and Instagram as well. Thank you guys so much for all you do for me. I really appreciate it. Remember to always be yourself as long as yourself smells good. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.